Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to simplify this given interesting uh, math problem. 7 power 0 plus uh, 3 times 5 times 17 times 257 whole power 1 divided by 16. And we are not supposed to be using uh, calculators of any kind. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this uh, 7 power 0. This is always equal to 1. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, 7 power 0 by 1. And the rest is exactly same. And now here's our next step. Let's focus on this part. Uh, 3 times 5 times 17 times 257. And here I have copied it down. And since we are not supposed to be using calculators, so let's go ahead and manipulate uh, these numbers. So I'm going to tweak uh, this uh, 3. 3 could be written as uh, 4 minus uh, 1. And now let's focus on 5. 5 could be written as uh, 4 plus uh, 1. And now for this 17, uh, this could be written as uh, 16 plus uh, 1. And finally 257 could be written as uh, 256 uh, plus uh, 1. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, 3 by 4 minus 1 inside the parentheses. Likewise, 5 as 4 plus 1, 17 as 16 plus 1, and finally 257 as 256 plus 1. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b times a plus b is always equal to a square minus b square. In other words, the, the difference of two squares. We are going to leverage uh, this identity to manipulate uh, these numbers. So let's focus on this part. If I call this A and this uh, B, likewise this A and this is B, then this could be written as 4 square minus 1 square. And now 4 square is same as 16 and 1 square is 1. So this is going to become 16 minus 1. So therefore, this part, 4 minus 1 times 4 plus 1, I have replaced by 16 minus 1, and the rest is exactly same. And now here's our next step. Let's focus on these numbers, 16 minus 1 times 16 plus 1, and we are going to use this identity once again. Once again, if I call this is A, this is B, likewise this is A, and this is b then this uh, whole thing could be written as 16 square minus uh, 1 square we know that uh, 16 square is same as 256 and 1 square is same as 1 so this is going to become 256 minus 1 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this uh, 16 minus 1 times 16 plus 1 by this uh, 256 uh, minus 1 and this rest is same. And now let's recall 2 power 8 equals to 256. If we multiply 2 8 times we are going to get 256. So therefore wherever we see 256 I'm going to replace it by 2 power 8. Likewise 256 I'm going to replace it by 2 power 8. So therefore this expression could be written as 2 power 8 minus 1 times 2 power 8 plus 1. Now let's go ahead and apply this identity once more. I'm going to call this as our A, this as B, likewise this as an A, and this one as B. And this could be written as 2 power 8 whole square minus 1 square. And now let's recall this power rule of exponents. We are going to apply it over here. So we are going to multiply out these exponents 8 times 2. So therefore, this could be written as 2 power 8 times 2 is 16 minus 1 square is same as 1. So therefore, we can see that all these numbers, this expression, could be simplified to 2 power 16 minus 1. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, all these numbers 
by this uh, 2 power 16 minus 1. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, this big uh, string by this uh, 2 power 16 minus 1. And now we can see this negative 1 and positive 1 is gone. So we ended up with only 2 power 16 whole power 1 divided by 16. Now let's recall this uh, power rule once again by using this power rule 16 times uh, 1 over 16 is just going to give us uh, 1. Therefore we are going to get uh, 2 power 1 and 2 power 1 is uh, simply 2. Thus we can see that our this whole problem has been simplified to 2. So thus our simplified answer to this given problem turns out to be 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.